Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today, we'll solve another problem of physics for scientists and engineers by Tipler and Mosca. Today, we'll solve problem 100 of chapter 3. A woman throws a ball at a vertical wall 4 meters away. The ball is 2, meter, two meters above ground when it leaves the woman's hand with an initial velocity of 14 meters per second at 45 degrees, as shown here in the figure. When the ball hits the wall, the horizontal component of its velocity is reversed. The vertical component remains unchanged. A. Where does the ball hit the ground? B. How long was the ball in the air before it hit the wall? C. Where did the ball hit the wall. D. How long was the ball in the air after it left the wall? Ignore any effects due to air resistance. Ok, let's solve the problem. We will start writing the equation for the movement in the vertical direction. We can write that the... what's happening? Oh. I write, I'm writing in, in white. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Let's clear this. Okay. The, I think it's, could be better here. Yeah. Blue is better. The equation for the movement in the vertical direc direction is the height, y, is equal the initial height plus the initial velocity in the vertical direction times t the time minus the gravital acceleration divided by 2 multiplied by t squared this is the equation for the vertical movement of the ball in this case we can write the height will be the initial height is 2 meters plus the initial velocity it's 14 but we of course we have to decompose this 14 meters per second and the resu result will be 10 meters in horizontal direction and 10 meters in vertical direction so here we have 10 meters per second multiplied by t minus g that is 9.81 divided by 2, multiplied by t squared. This is the equation we have. Now we can compute the total time of the movement, writing the position equals to 0. So 0 is the final position of the ball, equals 2 plus 10 times t, I will identify the final time, the total time of the movement with the uh, index F minus 9.81 divided by 2 multiplied by the total time e squared. This equation allows us to compute the total time of the movement. It's a a simple simple equation. The results will be I will write the results. I already solved this equation. The result will be Tf equals two point twenty two seconds. This is the total time of the movement. Now we can compute the total movement total displacement in the x direction, in the horizontal direction. We can write the equation as the x position will be the initial x position plus the initial velocity multiplied by the time. Of course, we are consider here we can draw our initial our reference here here we have 
in red, we have x and y. So the initial position is zero in the x coordinate. Okay, let's return. So we'll have x equals 10 meters per second multiplied by t. Of course, this equation is not completely correct because the ball will hit the wall. But let's compute if, considering that if the ball didn't, didn't uh, hit the ball, what would happen? So we will have time is 2.22. So if the ball didn't the, uh, hit the wall, we could write that the total displacement, let's write delta x, would be 10 multiplied by 2.22. There is the total displacement would be 22.2 meters. But of course, what happens is that the ball hit the wall after 4 meters. So the displacement, we should subtract this displacement 4 meters minus 4 meters, that is 8 meters that will count nothing because the ball will return to zero. Then the ball goes in the left direction. So we can write that the total displacement in fact would be, let's write it as xf, the final position in the x direction, would be minus the total displacement minus 8 meters. We are discounting this, the ball going to the wall and returning 8 meters. So you have the final x position will be minus, here we have 22.2 .2 minus 8. That is, we we'll have, let's use our calculator, 22.2 .2 minus 8 equals 14 minus 14.2 14 meters. This is the final position of the ball. Oh, item A, where the ball, how does the ball hit the ground? 14.2 meters left of the initial position. So we solved item A. Now item B, how long was the ball in the air before it hit the wall? Okay, we know that the ball will hit the wall after four meters in the x direction so it's easy to see that we can write we can use this equation and if you put x equals four the position of the all you'll find t the time to hit the wall that is 4 divided by 10, that is 0 0.4 seconds. This is the, the item B. Item C, where did the ball hit the wall? The ball will hit, hit the wall. We can use this equation to compute this. Here we have the position in the x coordinate we know that's four meters in the y we can compute the y direct the vertical direction will be two 
plus 10 multiplied by the time. The time is 0 0.4 seconds. The time to hit the wall. Minus 9.81 divided by 2 multiplied 0 0.4 squared. So the time to hit the wall. Here we can also put a W to indicate the wall. So the position the ball will hit the wall, it will be. Let's start 0.4 is squared multiplied by 9.81 divided by 2. This term is negative plus 4 plus 2. That is 5.2 meters. Finally, item D, how long was the ball in the air after it left the wall? Very simple, D will be, the, let's say, delta T will be the total time minus the time to hit the wall. It will be, therefore, 2.22 minus 0 0.4. So you have it in D will be 2.22 minus 0 0.4 equals 1.82 seconds. And that's it. That's it, the solution here. The problem is solved.